Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to setup number three. We arrive at the down under part of the world, Australia. So very quickly, thank you to all channel members and subscribers as well uh, for bringing us where we are right now in the channel. So if you like all these track guides and setups, make sure to leave a like, subscribe as well. And then uh, once again, uh, really, really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving. Uh, check out the other track guides and setups that we have released so far. And now let's get into Australia. So we'll go through the hot lap first in slow-mo, followed by the setup and then a full speed replay at the end. Now, to begin your lap, you just need to set up your lap, well, from the last corner as usual. Uh, so take a tight line on the qualifying lap. Uh, make sure you get uh, a good exit. Stay towards the middle of the track and then use all the exit on the way out get a straight exit keep the car straight and then you nothing much to do right just take a little breather and then we arrive at turn one here uh, as you see that little uh, exit road that's where you're gonna start to break right after the black box uh, usually these are the two references down to sixth gear or fifth gear and then here comes the scary part right launch it over the curb <laughs> Yeah, uh, you have to take as much curb as possible here. Uh, be careful though, if you have too low of a ride height, then this will not work. Same thing on the exit, it's a little lower curb here. You still have to take as much as possible to maximize your speed that you take through turn one and two. DRS open, now heading down into the next braking zone here. You wanna be looking for that black box on the top left or the 100 meter board just before it. So these are your usual braking references. Brake hard in a straight line and then trail the car in. So we missed the apex just a little bit, but you can be a little tighter. Avoid that red part of that curb that really spins your car out. Uh, there's a million lines you can take. You can go deep, you can go wide, uh, all that sort of thing. Uh, as long as you bring the car back to the left hand side like this uh, for this next complex of corners. And this will allow you to carry maximum speed down to the end of sector one. So from here on, use all the exit, bring the car over to the left hand side. And as you reach this uh, little exit road, you can try to put one wheel on it to open up the next right hander. In this year's game, it's quite easy to take this flat. And there you go. And towards the end of sector one, bring your car to the left hand side. Around 75 meters, this is where you want to break. There's a little gap in the walls that's also a good reference mark here downshift to sixth and just throw your car in and trust the downforce in these cars on the exit again use all the curb and now you can breathe a little bit and take the tightest line possible here drs open stay to the left and then take a deep breath and we're going to arrive at the fastest part of the circuit turn 9 10 i believe uh, just after the 100 meter board, right around the black board, so around 75 to 80 meters. Just a little tap on the brakes and a downshift in the race. In qualifying, sometimes you just need to lift and downshift. It's super easy. Take all the curb that you can. Again, it's a repeating team around here to be fast. And you need a little bit of right height there for sure. Same thing on the next right hander. You did notice. The car was a little wobbly, so I couldn't take the full curb here. I lost a little bit of time on the Delta, as you'll see in a moment. But yeah, uh, carry as much speed as possible without braking. And uh, on the exit, <coughs> excuse me, use all the curb. Now bring the car to the right and then over to the left hand side again to end sector two. The braking zone for the end here, it's a little tight towards the end. You can see the track turning to the right hand side as you brake. So you don't want to be super tight to the left. Just leave a little gap so that when you're braking in a straight line, your car is steering to the left. And then um, from here on out, um, just make sure you hit the apex. Once again, avoid that red part of the curb. You can take that uh, green and yellow part of it, but as long as you keep the car straight on the exit. So pick up the throttle very early and then you can take a lot of curb on the exit and by this point, you should already be flat out. You don't have to second guess yourself. Just go flat. Uh, the car will stick there. And now prepare for the next right-hander here. Right after that black bot, that's where you prepare to turn in. 
and you can take this in fifth or sixth gear most of the time you can take it almost flat so i'm taking it with a little bit of a lift here just just for confidence so that i don't exceed the track limits on the end here and now the last braking zone similar to how you start your hot lap you're going to be doing pretty much the same here right before the 50 meter mark break in a straight line and you can trail break quite deep into the corner as you can see we are still applying a little bit of brakes there at the apex but ideally you want to start picking up the throttle a little sooner from here itself that will gain you probably half a tenth or even one tenth on the exit and now just accelerate gently you can upshift to fourth and fifth to make it easier to put down the power and there you go straight line to the end open up drs and well that is a lap around australia and surprisingly uh even i surprised myself once again it only took me half an hour to get up to speed and uh, within a second of the world record which i can't believe i did that but uh pretty sure uh, the world record setters can go quicker and we'll find some more time as the game matures a little bit more now let's get into the setup the juicy part as usual right uh, the best part um for australia this time i'm using a little bit of a higher downforce setup here uh, just because there's a lot of high speed corners where i need some confidence so i'm using 35 25 on the downforce levels here which is quite high um for qualifying if you have park fermi turned off you can reduce the downforce to 20 uh, on the rear and 30 on the front so just five clicks lower that's going to give you a lot more top speed which is going to be beneficial in the race uh, trust me when i say that <laughs> uh, the more top speed you have the easier it is to attack and defend in this game and um, yeah and well it's easier to recharge ers in this year's game so you can afford to run a bit higher downforce just to make sure it's uh, giving you more confidence moving on to transmission now 100 on the on throttle and off uh, and engine braking off throttle is at 30 to keep it a little bit more stable uh, when you are going through the high speed corners and also trail braking into certain corners i found myself locking up quite a bit so but overall you know it helped the lap time suspension geometry all the way to the left minimum uh, the usual so far and now we move on to suspension this is where it's uh, quite a significant change in this year's game right um we're still the third, third setup only but yeah i'll keep reminding you in case you forget uh 41 one suspension seems to be the best overall you can try to use a little bit stiffer rear suspension maybe five or ten if you want some more rotation or if you want the rear end just to move a little bit more under braking or in the high speed corners um with that you can actually try to lower your right height to maybe about 53 52 but try not to go lower than 50 because i tested that at it it doesn't work that easily you really have to be super precise and it's super around you some of the curves here and we move on to the rear anti-roll bar and the front anti-roll bar 21 16 is somewhat of a good balance i find 21 16 21 15 is is usually where i start and then right height 22 55 just good amount of clearance around here uh, minimum i'd say is 20 on the front but any lower you really start to lose lap time here and yeah you you can't survive the curbs so you need something a good balance so 22 55 is a good start you can even try to run 60 on the rear if you need a little bit more confidence over some of the higher curbs so try that out and see how it works out for you and now we move on to the next part which is going to be the brakes which we'll come to in a second yeah there we go so brakes 100 percent brake pressure and brake bias about 54 55 is the sweet spot around here and finally tire pressures maximum tire pressures for the race for qualifying you can reduce it a little bit maybe one or two psi overall and if you find maybe the front right tire a little cold in the race then you can reduce the front right pressure before you start the race so maybe by one psi uh, when the tires are all in the operating range you actually get more grip out of it overall so try that out and see and yes apart from that 
I'd say uh, have fun in Australia. It's really nice to drive with this year's game, actually. Uh, you know, with that very pointy front end, it's really nice to drive. Um, just point the car and it turns into a lot of these high speed corners. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so, so much. Enjoy the hot lap. I'll see you in the next one for Japan or maybe Zen. We'll find that out in two days. <laughs>